The most common descriptors for DMS are creamed corn, cooked corn, cooked vegetable, oysters, and tomato juice. As concentration increases, DMS produces a slick, mouth-coating sensation and makes the beer more satiating. Many beer competition guidelines stipulate that DMS is allowable at low levels, especially in light-colored lager beers. DMS is produced primarily during wort boiling. The compound S-methylmethionine, or SMM, is present in all varieties of malt, and it's converted to DMS during the wort boil. DMS is also produced by some microbial contaminants, particularly by Obesum bacterium proteus and some wild yeasts. The level of SMM can be controlled during malting, and malt suppliers can assist in selecting base malts that offer low levels of SMM towards achieving low production of DMS. Primary control is through conditions involved in wort boiling. It's important to have a good, vigorous, rolling boil that facilitates the evaporation of DMS, which is then lost up the kettle steam stack. It's also important to have sufficient overall evaporation, and that the steam escaping the stack not recondense into liquid form and fall back into wort. Brewers must also control the length of time it takes from when boiling wort goes through whirlpool clarification, through the heat exchanger, and into a fermenter. While wort remains hot from the kettle, the temperature is sufficient to continue the conversion of SMM to DMS, but the DMS is not evaporating, so it will remain in the wort. As a rule of thumb, wort should take no more than two hours to be whirlpooled, cooled, and transferred in totality to a fermenter. If some unwanted DMS is retained in wort in the fermenter, a vigorous fermentation will help purge the DMS by the CO2 evolved during fermentation. Regarding avoidance of contamination-related DMS issues, good sanitation practices will avoid contamination by the range of microbes that can produce DMS.